<coughs> Hello team. So uh let me today show you a bit of our inventory module uh whereby we'll be managing our inventory. So this is an sample for uh, a chemist uh where they said medicine. Uh so it's used to uh as their point of sale uh, to manage their sales and uh, stocks. So uh, I'll go to inventory uh whereby we will uh, dive uh, into it and I show you how we manage our inventory and how we do everything. Yeah, so once you tap on inventory, uh, logged in as administrator, uh, you'll be able to see uh, various tabs. Uh, so here under store and inventory, uh, there are stocks. This one will show us the list of items uh, plus the number of stocks which are available for sale. So for example, this one you will see there are five pieces, three pieces, six pieces. Note that these three pieces is in uh, a red color, uh, in a lot. Uh, that one will alert you uh, if it's below the... So the next part is uh, stock transfers. This is where you can transfer various items from one point to another. So what you just need to do is uh, go to here to new transfer and then pick a location from where you're reducting your stock from and then pick a location where you're sending your stocks to and then out of here uh, you add the item that you want to transfer plus their quantities uh, the quantities that you want to transfer and then you can pick the units and then that that's how you create uh, the entire list so you first create the list of items that you want to transfer plus their quantities they are available and then finally after that you tap on uh, save to just create that uh, various transaction so once you're done with that you can create that stock transfer and those stocks will be moved uh, from one point uh, to the other now how do we create these uh, locations so uh, you go to inventory and then here under uh, store locations is where now you create your various locations so a location, you just give it a name. Uh, you just give that location a, a, a very nice name based on uh, what you want. And then you select the type, be it a warehouse or a selling point. Selling point is where you can do a point of sale from. You can sell items from this uh, particular point. But warehouse is where now you receive the items awaiting transfer to the maybe front desk or maybe to the front selling point. So uh, a location might be warehouse or also it might be just a selling point uh, where you sell items, no story. Then it gives you some description and then you can add a contact email and a contact form based on that location. If your locations are far much apart whereby you need to communicate to certain locations. Uh, so from there, we have now where we have the management of supply in the last time. Uh, in here you'll find the various types of uh, various uh, suppliers list and here you can add the either name the email the addresses and some of the description and then that will just save the suppliers for you so that when you're doing either point of sale or maybe you're doing a, a stock uh, stock uh, replenish you can select a supplier from a list of pre-existing uh, suppliers that's it for the inventory uh let me know on your comments below and where you think uh, needs uh, some improvement or maybe where you feel uh there's some uh, message also positive comments if um, uh it can serve a purpose or it's it's it's, it's mailing uh what we need to do in inventory we're trying to make the system as simple as possible to just uh, make sure we don't also have a so much sophisticated system so that we waste time on uh, using the system rather than selling. So our main focus is selling. Uh, how quickly can you add a product? How quickly can you do a sale? And at the same time, how much, uh, how can you have a lot of uh, data as possible uh, to manage your store and help you expand your business? So thank you. Meet you guys in the next tutorial.